Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Good morning, good afternoon, good evening Wherever you are, whatever time it is So, today we step away from the usual travel content To address a matter of great significance The ongoing conflict in Gaza uh, Brothers and sisters, please make a dua for our brothers and sisters in Gaza In fact, let's make dua for all the Palestinians going through hardship right now May Allah make it easy on them Amen. So Recently, Turkey's stance on the issue has become a point of discussion and I would like to shed some light on the various perspectives within the country. Recently, I was in Turkey from the 30th of September to the 30th of October, with the 29th of October being Turkey's 100th year as a republic. And what I found is many Turkish people found themselves in a dilemma, a moral dilemma during this recent bombing in Gaza. The celebration of the 100 years as a republic considered with a period of intense conflict leading to a complex emotional landscape. It seemed many people didn't feel comfortable erecting their flags, especially during current affairs, while on the other hand, there are those who continued with their celebration, arguing that the issue was separate and not a Turkish matter. Many people also celebrated the 100 years whilst showing solidarity with the Palestinians. It, you would see a number of Turkish flags, but one thing for sure, the Palestinian flag was never far away. You see, the matter is incredibly polarizing because it's a topic that's discussed heavily in the mosques. I don't think I listened to a, a sermon that didn't discuss this matter. Even when we was in Kunya, there was a special prayer for the people of Palestine. Social media itself became a battleground for opinions, calls for boycotts echoed, urging citizens to take a stance against companies associated with the countries involved in the conflict. Yet, not everyone subscribed to this approach. You see, fast food chains like McDonald's were still crowded. However, there was a lot of footage going around with people vandalising food chains like McDonald's or also coffee shops such as Starbucks in an attempt to show solidarity. President Rasid Tayyip Erdogan condemned Israel's actions, calling it a massacre. He criticized the blockade and relentless assaults on Gaza. The Turkish president highlighted Turkey's opposition of the civilians and Israeli territories and called for a fair, just and humanitarian stance from the international community. In the midst of this complex issue, the people of Turkey find themselves grappling with their beliefs, their sense of nationalism and their commitment to justice. As the conflict unfolds, it remains to be seen how the internal struggle will shape the nation's collective conscience. On the 28th of October, a pro-Palestinian rally was held Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan addressed hundreds of thousands of supporters at the Atatürk airport in Istanbul during the rally. Israel, you are an occupier. You are an organized gang. Israel is committing war crimes. The main culprit behind the massacre unfolding in Gaza is the West. Erdogan accused Israel of committing war crimes openly for 22 days and expressed dissatisfaction with Western leaders for not calling for a ceasefire. He pledged to declare Israel a war criminal and reiterated his view that Hamas is not a terrorist organization. The 29th of October, Turkey's 100th year as a republic, many people flocked to the streets. 
However, some would refer to this as a muted celebration. Why? As many festivities were cancelled due to the Israel's escalating attack on Gaza. President Recep Tayyip Erdogan laid a wreath at the mausoleum of Mustafa Kemal Ataturk, the country's founding father, and participated in the downscaled event. The subdued celebrations sparked criticism from some citizens who perceived Erdogan as downplaying the occasion to undermine Ataturk's secular legacy. The ongoing Israel-Hamas war was cited as a reason for the restrained festivities. Despite official cutbacks, private celebrations and events organised by opposition-run municipalities took place, highlighting the continued reverence for Ataturk's legacy in Turkish society. Some may suggest that there are some ideological differences between Erdogan and Ataturk, noting Erdogan focuses on Turkey's Ottoman and Islamic past, in contrast to Ataturk's emphasis on nationalism, development reforms and separation of the region from public life. It seems Erdogan's vision for Turkey aligns with socially conservative values and a significant role for Islam in various aspects of societies making a departure from the founding principles of the Republic.